the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good morning, everyone. Let us pause and call to mind our sins. You raise the dead to life in your spirit, Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner, Christ, have mercy. You feed us with your body and blood, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, you founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor. Grant that by keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain eternal life. We pray through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I am reminding you, brothers and sisters, of the gospel I preached to you, which you indeed received and in which you also stand. Through it you are also being saved if you hold fast to the word I preached to you, unless you believed in vain. For I handed on to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scripture, and that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. After that, he appeared to more than 500 brothers at once, most of whom are still living, though some have fallen asleep. After that, he appeared to James, then all the apostles. Last of all, as to one born abnormally, he appeared to me. For I am the least of the apostles, not fit to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace to me has not been ineffective. Indeed, I have toiled harder than all of them, not I, however, but the grace of God that is with me. Therefore, whether it be I or they, so we preach, and so you believed. The word of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. You are my God, and I give thanks to you. O my God, I extol you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Come to me, all you who are labored and burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. A certain Pharisee invited Jesus to dine with him, and he entered the Pharisee's house and reclined at table. Now there was a sinful woman in the city who learned that Jesus was at table in the house of the Pharisee. Bringing an alabaster flask of ointment, she stood behind him at his feet weeping and began to bathe his feet with her tears. Then she wiped them dry with her hair, kissed them, and anointed them with the ointment. When the Pharisee who had invited him saw this, he said to himself, if this man were a prophet, he would know who 
And what sort of woman this is who is touching him? She's a sinner. Jesus said to him in reply, Simon, I have something to say to you. Tell me, teacher, he said. Two people were in debt to a certain creditor. One owed 500 days' wages, the other owed 50. Since they were unable to repay the debt, he forgave it for both. Which of them would love him more? Simon said in reply, the one I suppose whose larger debt was forgiven. And Jesus said, you have judged rightly. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, do you see this woman? When I entered your house, you did not give me water for my feet, but she has bathed them with her tears, wiped them with her hair. You did not give me a kiss, but she has not ceased kissing my feet since the time I entered. You did not anoint my head with oil, but she anointed my feet with ointment. So I tell you, her many sins have been forgiven. Hence, she has shown great love. But the one to whom little is forgiven loves little. He said to her, your sins are forgiven. The others at the table said to themselves, who is this that even forgives sins? But he said to the woman, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus frees us from our past. That's what forgiveness is all about. Jesus frees us for our past. When you look at Jesus' moments of forgiveness in the gospel, um, he never condemns a person to their past, but he only sees them, sees them for their future, touched by his merciful grace. And that's something um, to be truly thankful for that God does not condemn us to our past sins. That's great news. The challenge for us is have we let go of our sins of the past? Do we still find, do we still have attachment to our past? Not only in terms of our memory, but what about our past that we still find exciting? What about our past that we maybe are sorry for, but if we had to do over again, maybe we would do it again? I guess my challenge today is to, for us to really struggle with our past and let Jesus heal those memories, those past sins, those attachments that we still have, so that we truly are liberated from what holds us down. Jesus never condemns us. In fact, when we look at the scriptures, God not only forgives he forgets. God moves on. We have to move on too from our past. So today as we celebrate um, the death and resurrection of Jesus and its liberating love and mercy for all of us, let us always stand in thanksgiving for what God has done for us in Christ Jesus. And truly, let us allow God to heal us from our past and our attachments to it. Let us stand and bring our prayers to the mercy of the Lord. For the church, may the gift of the Eucharist nourish our souls and inspire us to share the message of Christ with others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civic leaders, may the Holy Spirit guide them in embracing sound moral principles and solving the issues before them let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who lack hope, may the promise of the Lord's faithfulness bring them consolation and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this assembly, may the Lord bless us and make us holy in his sight. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, May they come to the eternal banquet of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Herman Verbano, who we remember especially at this Mass, 
And for what or whom do we pray today? Lord, hear our prayer. A prayer of hope for the homeless, for those that suffer from mental illness, and those that minister to their needs. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Seeking the intercession of Our Lady for peace. Hail Mary, Mary, full of of grace, grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And we ask all these things through Christ our Lord. Lord God of all creation, the your goodness we have this bread to all of the truth is given in human hands and made it will become for us the bread of life. May this mingling water and wine we come to share in the divinity of Christ to humble himself to share in our humanity. Bless the Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to all the fruit of thine work of human hands. We come for us, our spiritual gift. Lord God, we ask you to be pleased with us, to accept the sacrifice we offer you in humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from all my sins. Thank you. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Receive with favor, O Lord, the offerings of your people that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just that we should always give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal God. For you do not cease to spur us on to possess a more abundant life. And being rich in mercy, you constantly offer pardon and call on sinners to trust in your forgiveness. Never did you turn away from us, and though time and time again we have broken your covenant, you bound yourself to the human family in a bond that could never be broken in Jesus, your Son, our Redeemer. Even now you set before your people a time of grace and reconciliation. As they turn back to you in spirit, you grant them hope in Christ Jesus, and a desire to be of service to all. And so with all the choirs of angels and saints, may our voices be one in grateful praise as we say, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, and from the beginning of the world are ceaselessly at work so that the human race may become holy as you are holy. Look, we pray upon your people's offerings and pour out upon them the power of your spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus the Christ, in whom we have become your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we were once lost and could not find our way back to you, you loved us with the greatest of loves. For your Son, who alone is just, 
handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before he outstretched his arms between heaven and earth to become a lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Paschal meal with his friends. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things to himself in the blood of the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine. And once more giving you thanks, he handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of Jesus Christ, your Son, who is our Passover and our lasting peace, we celebrate now his death and resurrection, and we look forward to his blessed coming. And so we offer to you, God ever faithful and merciful, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the entire human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, that as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into the one body of Christ who heals all division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart with Francis our Pope and William our Bishop. Help us work together for the coming of your kingdom when at last we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, and all the saints, along with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we now commend to your mercy. Then freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. For it is through him, with him, in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, Lord, Lord, name, kingdom come, be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look then not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. That's peace. Lamb of God,
and not bring me condemnation, but health and life, body and spirit. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Let us pray. O Lord, graciously raise up those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption both in mystery and in the manner of our life. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Have a good day, everyone.